Today we're gonna be talking about my top five red lipsticks and a couple of lip liners here and there. And I'm gonna start with the brightest and then we're gonna get into the dark red shades. The holidays are here. I'm just feeling inspired. I'm feeling like I'm in the mood for a beautiful red lip. I'm definitely thrilled to be doing this video. My last video talking about my favorite nude lipsticks. You guys seem to really enjoy it. So holidays are here. Let's talk about reds. If you like videos like this, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave me a comment. What is your favorite red lipstick? Are you excited to wear red now that December's here? And yeah, let's get right to it. To start off, we're gonna talk about Ruby Woo Lip Liner because every single red lip to me starts with hydrated lip. Just put on a clear lip balm and a lip liner. This one from MAC, it's an iconic one. It's never not a good option. So I'm gonna start applying this one. As you can tell, it's very much a bright red. Ruby Woo is one of those first lipsticks that I've ever tried that was red blue and also matte. So because I loved it a lot, I also had the lip liner and I've repurchased it and I've had it forever. So we're going to start with the <laughs> Patrick Ta That's Why She's Late. It's so destroyed. I apologize for this. That pigment is gorgeous, it's again red-blue. In case you were wondering what red-blue means, is that the undertones are blue rather than orange. I don't really think I have any orange tone lipstick. This was probably the most orangey one that I have out of the bunch. Makes your teeth look whiter. It's definitely not the bluest red that I have here, but we're gonna swatch it in the back of my hand so we can compare them. That one's Patrick Ta in That's Why She's Late. It looks pretty matte on the back of my hand, but when you see it on, it definitely has a shine. It's not 100% matte. I would describe this finish as satin. And we have the Ruby Woo lip liner right here. As you can tell, they're pretty similar in shade. So this is my first choice for my top red lipsticks, Patrick Ta, that's why she's late. All right, so for this next one, I'm actually gonna talk about Ruby Woo. I actually depotted it for my makeup kit and I put it here so I don't really have the physical form. Comes in a bullet like this, classic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a brush. This one is from So Ava. It's a 331 Precision Lip. It's actually square. And I'm gonna attempt to get the Ruby Woo out of here. I know that it's quite matte. It has dried out a little bit. I do regret depotting it and putting it here because it is the retro matte formula from MAC. It is the most matte out of them all. I'm still gonna put it on just so you can see how blue it is and how matte it is. It's very matte. I also love that this brush is quite square so we can get into corners. I have to do a favorite brushes video because because I really want to talk about it. <laughs> So this is Ruby Woo by MAC and is very like a sherry red. It's very matte and dry, which I kind of really love. Mine is a little bit drier than usual because I did depot it by accident. You learn as you go. So I'm gonna swatch it right here next to the Patrick Ta one. Right here on the bottom, you can definitely tell it's a lot brighter than the top one and it's a lot drier. It has no reflection, no shine. This is definitely a classic. I think it's probably the cheapest lipstick that I have out of the bunch here. It's definitely a go-to for a lot of people. I've worn it all my life. It's a really great lipstick. All right, on to the next one. I am so, so excited about this next one. It's the one that I'm wearing this year all the time. It is my first purchase from Pat McGrath. I got a lipstick and a lip liner. Look how absolute gorgeous these are. Let's start off with the lip liner because this is probably the best lip liner I have tried in a while. It comes with a sharpener. When I swashed it on my hand, I let it set and then I was trying to wipe it off with like a dry 
dry napkin and it was not budging, not lifting, not moving, not smudging, nothing. I have never had a lip liner like this. I am tempted to get more colors. It is expensive. I can't lie to you and tell you that this is affordable. This was $30. I feel like lip liners last a very long time. For me, at least, red is not a color that I use all the time. Let's just put this on. Mm, it's so smooth. The color is Gorge. That was effortless. Much smoother than the Ruby Woo one. MAC tends to be a little bit drier with their lip liners, which is great for longevity, but it's so good that this one's smooth and is actually very long wearing. Also, not gonna lie, with red lip, I do tend to overline quite a bit. I'm gonna swash it right next to Ruby Woo. So it's this color right here. It's a little bit more blue toned than Ruby Woo and a little bit darker. It's called Blood Lust. So now for the lipstick. Pat McGrath lipsticks come like this, I think. How cute! This looks so pretty. I've tried this before, I just haven't purchased it yet. It's $40. It's up there. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I love the formula. It's like a matte, but it's a very comfortable matte. It's just so comfortable. It is a darker red. Let's swatch it right here next to the other one so you can see. Oh, it's so smooth and creamy. Love it. As you can see right here, it is darker than the ones we've tried before. So we are getting darker as the video goes on. Oh, it's absolutely stunning. I don't even want to take it off my napkin. So this next one, I'm actually going to wear it with the same lip liner. My lips are going to fall off after this. This lip liner is actually a great pair for this next one, which is the Dior 866 Forever Together. And I feel like Dior has good reds. I included this one because it's a long wearing red lip. This lip liner is actually very long wearing too, so it's a great match. So if you are looking for a lipstick that has the staying power of a liquid lipstick, this one is it. I tend to be hit or miss with this kind of formulas. I do prefer to reapply these kind of formulas tend to crack up a little bit and I don't really love that. The color is gorgeous, it's a great formula nonetheless and for those who are looking for very long wearing, this formula from Dior really is great. They do have other reds, this is just the one that I like. It starts off very very creamy and then it sets. This one reminds me a lot of the Pat McGrath lipstick that we just tried on. It's just a completely different formula. Let me swatch it right below it. Actually, now that I'm comparing them side by side, you can definitely tell that this one's a little bit brighter and more orange. It's already starting to set, but it's a gorgeous color. So we're going to let it set and we're, I'm going to show you the transfer test. Let's do a be real while we wait. Alright, let's do the transfer test. Okay, well, I didn't let it set too much, but I guarantee you that it is very long wearing. But we have to move on. We have to go to the next one. So let's take it off and let's talk about my last but not least pick. I'm going to use a different lip liner. This one is by Patrick Ta in the shade She Must Be New. I don't necessarily love this lip liner. I'm using it because it's the one that I have at the moment. It's like a click on thing and then it's quite square at the top. See how thick the line is? It's just like, I just don't love how thick the line is, you know? Not the best application, but we're gonna have to do. This next one is also something that I discovered recently when I was searching for a dark red lip that's not too a burgundy, but not too dark. Mm, it's dark. Um, it's from YSL. It's the Slim Lipstick in the number 18. It's square. Again, I don't love the application, but I do like the formula. It's really matte. It's definitely perfumed. You could definitely smell it as you apply it. This one is so gorgeous i really like to use this one with lighter colored outfits let me swatch it right here at the bottom so yes the last one there 
quite dark compared to the other ones. It's also very matte and the color is, I find it to be just so elegant, so gorgeous. If you think this too dark for black clothing, I love to wear it with a new colors or lighter colors in my clothing. It actually gives like an edge to your outfit, but if you don't mind being edgy, you could definitely go full on dark. I absolutely love this color, but it's definitely my go-to dark red lip. I hope you guys enjoyed my favorite red lipstick collection. These are my top ones. Let me know if you would like to see any videos, any tutorials and videos with red lipstick. Okay, wait, I forgot to do the liner smear test. I have here Ruby Woo and then the Pat McGrath one right here. I'm gonna start off rubbing the Ruby Woo. Okay, so this one is the Pat McGrath one. You see that? It's so good. This one, I can't even keep smudging it. It's worth $30. I'm getting it in nude, in brown, all the colors. Really great formula. And yes, I will see you on the next one. Thank you so much for joining me today.